glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Bobcats are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. should be a great college football game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And they make the stop at the 44-yard line. The Bobcats are feeling pretty good about themselves, especially after a record-setting performance last week. But the best thing they can do, put it all behind them and get back to work because those records don't mean anything today. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 44. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. Yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there. They can do better than that. From the 44-yard line, first down. Up the middle for a nice game. A gain of about four yards on the draw. That makes it second and six. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. From the 40-yard line, third down. This guy's got the combination of smarts and reliability that makes a receiver really dangerous. No wonder he's looked to on third down. Gets it to his wide receiver and he's got another one. He's taken down at the three. Why can't they stop that play, Kirk? I don't know. It's not like they haven't seen it before. They've run that play twice in a row, and that time it worked to perfection. From the three-yard line, first down. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Rose, complete touchdown. He's just matched the school record for receptions in a season. It's been an incredible relief for a quarterback to know he's got a target this dependable. That's why they call his number so often. The 
quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Ohio is up by a touchdown. He's brought down in the open field. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 31 yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. around the 44 yard line and he's just taken over as the team's record holder for catches in a season sure he's had some drops along the way but he never hangs his head he never gets down on anyone for a bad pass or missed block you need that kind of attitude to break records from their own 44-yard line. It's first down. Golan out to the right side. He's at the 40. He gets hit out of bounds at the 31-yard line. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. Ohio's lead is a touchdown. Ohio is up seven. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. From the 31-yard line, second down. Right down, right around the 32-yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Check, check. Regular, regular, regular. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 24. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game. That brings up fourth and three. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. it to the 44. Play fake. Defense bearing down. And he's sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. So the sack makes this a second and long. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. 
They'll spread the field with five wide. Let's go! Ball, the ball, the ball. Great concentration to pull it in. He's tackled at the 42. Five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. From the 29-yard line, first down, five wide. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made at the four-yard line. and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. And the goal line defense digging in here. Quick strike and he drops it. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Here's the eighth play of the series. Got to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Number three was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and goal. Here we go, third and goal from the three yard line. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Got a man in and out of his hands. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Nice run there. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he is drilled at the 42-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. it fly and he's got it going the other way now and he hits him hard at the 39 there you go if you're gonna come back in this game it's gonna start with maybe that pick is what turns things around for you you know the offense will be looking to do better this time out so much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Intercepted. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. 
five yard line. Bounces off a would-be tackler. Tackle at about the 35. to about the 24-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 24. Gets out to about the 21. Three-yard gain by the running back. That'll make it second and seven. Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 21. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. About four yards away here on second down. Throws quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. the stop right around the 36 yard line that was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down from the 36 yard line first down So at the end of the third quarter, the Bobcats in front, 20 to nothing. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He gets out to about the 21 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Nice play fake. And he's tackled around the 19-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Shoved out of bounds right around the six yard line. First and 10. 
first and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. You love to see them come out and back up the great effort that their defense has put up today. Just a dominating performance. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Less than three minutes in the game. He sails it long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Number three was the intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and ten. From their own 40-yard line, second down. run to the outside. Fakes to the back. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. That's a game of one on the play. Fourth down. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time, and Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. Ready! Red 18! Red 18! He's on the run. He wants it all going long. Incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 44. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Red 18! Red 18! Picked off by the senior. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Slings it. And down he goes at the 50. That makes it second and two. Ohio comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. Throws it deep. He's taken down around the 13-yard line.
receiver, touchdown. Clock keeper, just keep it moving for Kirk and I, will you? We want to get out of here. Ohio staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just have a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.